Welcome back to the channel guys and welcome back to Paternity Court. Once again, we will delve into the complexities of paternity fraud. Please go ahead, like, comment and subscribe. Thank you so much for the subscribers, new subscribers coming in. So let's hear what Miss Leek has to say on this one. Miss Allen, you say that after a brief affair with Mr. Childs, you discovered you were pregnant with your daughter, Miss Baylor. You say Mr. Childs acknowledged paternity until his wife convinced him otherwise. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Childs, you admit to the affair with Ms. Allen, but say she was involved with several other people. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Allen, why is Mr. Childs denying your daughter? His petty wife. That really got out of hand fast. I don't think she have anything to do with it. So you're basically blaming his wife? Yes. Why did it take you 20 years to figure out that you should get a DNA you, test Because for I didn't need, I I you, didn't need to go through you the drama. The Again, I didn't need I to go through to the drama right. with, with you. Let's talk one at a time, because I do want to understand this. How did you all even get together? She was friends with cousins of mine. Nothing serious. I just came through after a football game, mm -hmm. and, and he wanted to ride with me. We, we oh, had God. sex. Was this the only time you were intimate with Mr. Child? couple times after that. And once you got pregnant, did you tell Mr. Childs? So he came you to me. You the rumor. I told him, I said, she may be your child. I told him, I said, it's a possibility that she may so not be So you said yours. it is a possibility it, that she may not be yours. I even asked her, hey, are you, pre you supposed to be pregnant by me? Oh, I don't know. I don't know if it's yours or not. So I'm like, okay, I'll tell you what. If, the, if you're pregnant and it's mine, let's get a DNA test. We can go ahead and get this out of the way. Have no problem with taking care of her because she would have been my first. I don't see her again for months. Probably longer than that, you know. So, Ms. Allen, when Ms. Baylor was born, you didn't invite him to the birth? No. Did you invite any other man? No. Did you inform the other possibility or the other possibilities that they may be the father yes. as well? You did? Yes. If you say he might be the father, why are you in court today saying that he is the because father. Because I was messing with him first. How do you know From that? The, what you mean, how do I know that? I had to go oh, through gosh. the drama with Miss Johnson. Um, up and down the road, she followed me. I guess she remember me chasing her up and down the street, but she can't remember who fathered her child. Why am I living, why am I living in her head rent free, but she can't remember who fathered her child? Furthermore, Your Honor, he's always girl, been there for girl, my please. children. So this, this girl, little please. song and You're dance she doing, I'm telling the truth. Why You're would she, 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 yeah, she okay, I think it's important to know, too. Well, when we met her daughter, the, the daughter told us that she had tested someone else. Why didn't you test him first? There has been testimony which indicates that you also tested another man. Tell the court about that. I wasn't even messing with him. This was something well, that are you testing came about. Why would you test it? someone you aren't messing with? He said, you know, I was messing with your mom around the time. I wanted, I wanted to get a DNA test with you. Someone reached out to you, yes. Ms. Baylor, and said, I think I may be your father and I want to have a test. Yeah, I want to have a test. But Ms. Allen, you say this no. person was never a consideration. No, I, I told him that, but he was insisting on it. I was like, that is not... I wasn't even messing with you back then. Ms. She don't know. That's the bottom line. Allen, you have not had a DNA yeah. test with any of the other true potential fathers. Right. So, Shinesha, Ms. Baylor, were you always told Mr. Childs was your biological father? I was about 14 when I first found out uh, my sister's dad wasn't my dad. Just hearing rumors, just going over my grandmother's house in Bowling Green. And uh, that's where, basically, he is from. And everybody would come to me like, you're my cousin, TJ's your dad. I'm like, I don't know who TJ is. Who is TJ? And I went about it myself. I found him on Facebook, hit him up. And I said, look, I don't, I don't know what's going on, but I do actually want to know. And did, did I ever once deny you? No, nah, you never did. Never once. A child looking for a father, Yana, and I stand a chance of being there, I'm going to be there. Yeah. I'm gonna be there. You can ask it. We, we conversated, we talked everything. So, Ms. Baylor, first you believed until you were 14 years old that your sibling's father was your biological father. Her stepfather. Yes. Then people were murmuring, and you were told by whom that that was not your biological um, father. Well, basically, my stepdad was telling me stories, and he said when he met my mom, then she was already pregnant with me. I don't know if he meant to, but... When he told me, I was just like, I just started asking questions. She she knew I told her, sit down and told her the whole story. Yeah, she well, told I, me after. You know, she didn't like I'm, tell me before, but she told me after the fact when my stepdad did say that. Okay. No, Your she Honor. sat down and talked to me when I brought it to her attention. Like, and I then, don't know what's going on. I'm confused. Your Honor, in 2006, I got in touch with Miss Baylor. 
and I told her that I wanted to meet Shy. Eleven I, years ago, you would have been nine, Miss Baylor. Yes, yes. ma'am. So you made an attempt yes, to meet Miss yes, Baylor ma at nine years old. Yes, ma'am. But you weren't informed she was, of any of her. this till you were fourteen. No, ma'am. I met her. I I sat down and talked to her at Miss Allen's house. I, I never denied that. When people was telling me when I was fourteen, I'm like, I don't know. She don't, she nobody named TJ. I don't did. remember him. Ooh, he none did. of this. You know. I mean, you were only nine. Is it that you still had a question in your mind, so you were just trying to see it through? I just wanted to see it through, Your Honor. Be I'm saying like this, if it was such a struggle for her to raise her by herself, and you know where I am, if I'm such a bad person, go get child support. When we went to child for child support, I would've got a DNA test. And this would've been taken care of years ago. I've been going on years, Your Honor, with people saying, oh, you know Shia's your daughter. Oh, you know Shia's your daughter. I don't want people looking at me like, oh, you're a deadbeat dad. No, I, no. I, I do what I have to do to take care of my family. Back so wait, I wanna ask Miss Allen, if this was the man you truly believed was your child's father, why didn't you ever pursue child support? I basically was working and just I, taking care of her was, on my own. Or was That's it that it. you just really knew that you didn't know for sure if it was him? Well, it didn't, it didn't even matter because I just it was it tired of going through the drama it with her. It didn't matter to you. You can't so say that. I went on with my life. I took care of her by myself. So, Ms. Allen, you never in the court system pursued a, a DNA test, nothing? No, no. All right? Your Honor, she just made me feel like she wanted me to be the father by name. Your Honor, Please. I'm not being funny or anything. I'm not gonna lie, I was a good catch. <laughs> so, so I can understand, you know, where she was coming from then. I would've made sure she was fine, I would've made sure the child was fine, all that would've been good. She brought the baby to my mom's house one time. And I told her right then and there, look, Nisa, we can get this straight now so we don't have any problems in the future. She disappeared. Mr. Charles was doing other things and... I'm not saying I wasn't. And I wasn't, I only, I I wasn't even I was the only, only one he was messing with. He was messing with my cousins and all that stuff. What does that have to do with the child? You brought my name through the mud for years, Nisa. I've been mud. telling people, see my baby, we won't take a DNA test. How is that not running my name through the mud? Okay. It's funny to you, it ain't funny I, to me. I'm, I'm not, hey, do what you gotta do. She knows I would've took great care of this girl. Do you have any additional doubt? Oh, yes, ma'am. You yes, do? Ma all my children have six fingers, Your Honor. Both of my kids are, are very tall, and, and all my kids look just like me. I feel I have strong genes. All of your children, yes, all of your other children, have been born with a sixth finger. And when we were pregnant with the seven-year-old, we had an ultrasound done, and at that point, as soon as he hit my stomach, she lift our hand up, and there it was dingling. Another that digit. six finger, another digit is what they called it. Mr. Childs, are there other members of your family with this six finger? No, ma'am. Miss Johnson, on your side? I don't have it, but I found out later on <laughs> my dad had six fingers, but none of us, like my brother or sister, none And of so us. the gene could have come from your side. It could have, but it was just interesting none of so us. So interesting. Oh, yep, they don't So Miss Allen, are you still convinced that Mr. Childs is her biological father? Yes. This is a lot to have to process. And every girl, we need your dad. Yeah. Family, are we ready for the result? It has been determined by this court. Mr. Childs, you are not the father. That's okay. Another one. You know, at the same time. It's okay, honey. It's okay.